Southeast Asia is one of the most hazard-prone areas in the world, facing earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, tsunamis, and landslides. In today's world, understanding and predicting natural hazards and advancing geoenergy solutions are crucial. Earthquakes are processes that we are still really trying to understand. They really happen deep in the crust, in a place that we cannot directly access. And because of that, we don't, we don't have direct uh, information. We have observations from the surface, and uh, we can use them to validate our models, like uh, recently the Turkey earthquake or the Morocco earthquake, earthquakes happening in, the, in Nepal. Computational geophysics provides the tools to achieve these goals. This is a field where geoscientists are working together with mechanical engineers and computer scientists where we use powerful computers and applied math and we model complex systems from large-scale tectonic movement and the formation over millions of years to the quick dynamics of earthquakes and fluid movements in the earth crust. This helps us to understand processes happening deep within the earth that we cannot directly observe. If we start from a model, an analog experiment, we take some material, we deform the material, and we reproduce some geological structure. We can then take a numerical model and try to reproduce that structure. This can help us to, first of all, validate the two models with each other, but most importantly, to upscale the model, because what we do in the lab is not at the scale of natural processes that are happening at the kilometer scale. By simulating earthquakes and tsunamis, we can analyze and better understand their behavior and help communities to prepare and respond more effectively. On the other hand, when it comes to geoenergy exploration. We know many Southeast Asian countries are exploring renewable energy and Singapore is also exploring geoenergy solutions like geothermal systems and advancing our understanding of how these systems work. Several countries are including in their green plan carbon capture and sequestration. One of the best way to storage a large amount of CO2 is to use a geological reservoir deep in the crust. But most importantly, by doing so, we are changing the stress within the crust and we can reactivate the faults that are close to this reservoir. For anthropogenic activities like uh, carbon capture, our model helps to understand how to safely store CO2 in deep geological reservoirs, reducing the risk of leaks that could harm the environment. For geothermal systems, our model optimizes the extraction of fluids and heat minimizing the risk of induced seismicity. So by using numerical simulations, we can understand how the stress is changing in the crust and what is the stability of this fault and of the cap rock on top of that.